the Canon FD 100mm f2.8 SSC was made in Japan and was first introduced on the market in March of 1973. The letters SSC, seen here on the front plate, indicate that the elements of this lens are coated with Canon's super spectra coating technology. Back in 1977, this lens sold for $216, which was a considerable sum of money 44 years ago. I found my copy of this lens in mint condition on eBay for $108. This version of this lens was manufactured for 6 years, and in 1979 it was replaced with the Canon New FD 100mm f2.8. Both versions have the same optical formula. The optical design of this lens consists of 5 elements in 5 groups. Aperture ranges from f2.8 to f22 with click stops in between. This lens accepts filters with 55mm diameter. The diaphragm is made of 8 rounded aperture blades. Focus throw is approximately 200 degrees. This lens weighs 356 grams. On the back, this lens has Canon FD mount. I use an FD to NEX helicoid adapter, which allows me to focus closer when the adapter is extended, and if I need to reach infinity focus, I simply put it back in its normal position. The original minimum focusing distance of this lens is 1 meter, but when used with a fully extended helicoid adapter, the minimum focusing distance becomes only 56 centimeters. The Canon FD 100mm f2.8 SSC is a fantastic vintage lens that comes packed with lots of great features and it's still quite affordable. One of its many positive qualities is its outstanding resolution. This Canon lens is great if you enjoy shooting your lenses wide open because its sharpness is uniform throughout the whole frame even when the lens is at f2.8. Another reason why this lens shines when used wide open is because it creates excellent subject separation and it has buttery soft out of focus blur. If you stop it down to f8 or f11, its sharpness is simply phenomenal, capturing great amount of detail no matter how close or far you are from your subject. When it comes to colors, this lens produces beautiful colors with rich tones and plenty of saturation and contrast. I personally love the colors from these super spectra coated lenses that Canon made in the 70s. If you love color photography, these SSC lenses are not to be missed because their colors are truly special. This Canon lens also does an excellent job at controlling ghosting and flare, and I had no issues whatsoever even when I was shooting straight towards the sun. However, I will recommend using it with a lens shade to avoid any unwanted stray light. Vignetting is visible at f2.8, becomes barely noticeable by f4, and it's totally gone by f5.6. When it comes to distortion, I did see a tiny bit of pincushion distortion, so have that in mind. But as you know, that is easily corrected in post. Chromatic aberrations are barely detectable, with a tiny bit of purple fringing, which only appears in challenging situations and is hardly noticeable. And of course, if it bothers you, you can easily remove it in post. The build quality of this lens, just like all Canon FD lenses, is on a very high level. It is made entirely out of metal, it is super sturdy and solid, and with proper care, it will last you a long, long time. So all in all, you can't go wrong with this wonderful vintage lens. Its sharpness across the whole frame, even wide open, is phenomenal. It produces gorgeous colors and buttery soft bokeh. It is beautifully made and it has no major issues that you need to be concerned about. For just over $100, it is a great bargain considering how expensive it used to be back in the 70s. So if you want a solid 100mm lens that is packed with great features and it won't break the bank, then check out the Canon FD 100mm f2.8 SSC. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time here at Vintage Optics.